Shalom, Kwam Yashallah, call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible, and a double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth in sincerity, regardless of whom here forbears. Now, the videos we do are only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that includes the confusion of faces. And this is just a, you know, a video that I was inspired to do after listening to uh, Apostle Gabar's uh, video of destruction. You know, I just want to land back on that video and um, do a response to it, you know. Um, you know, Lord Yahawashai, who our people ignorantly call Jesus, you know, his true Hebrew name is Yahawashai. He's coming back with um, flames of uh, fury, man. Uh, 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 yeah, flames of fury to rebuke this place, man. He's coming back with death and destruction, man. Okay, and to redeem the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. So despite what um what these false prophets are telling you, man, um, T D snakes, Al Sharp Tongue, all these uh peace prosperity uh false prophets out there, man, and the harlot houses, you know, teaching plantation Christianity, you know, is, is contrary to what the scriptures actually tell you. You know, and so without further ado, we're gonna bring out the scriptures and Lord willing be edifying to the elect. It says Isaiah 65 and uh, 66 and 15. Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire. So the Lord is coming with fire. And what does fire do? Fire burns, right? You know? So we could just stop the lesson right there. We, are, we already know the Lord is coming back with fire. And, and what, what is fire being used to do is used to burn and purify. Okay? And fire is not a, a good feeling. Um, when, when when it touches your flesh So it reads on And his chariots Like a whirlwind So what 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 people deem as UFOs um, UFO meaning Unidentified flying objects We deem and we know Are IFOs man Identified flying objects Those are chariots man And so Lord Yahweh is coming With a massive chariot Every eye shall see Okay and it's going to come like a whirlwind you know, and let's see what's going to happen when Lord Yahweh rides on the chariot. And it says chariots. So Lord Yahweh is coming as well as the angels. Okay. It reads on <clears throat> to render his anger with fury. So Lord Yahweh is coming to render his anger with fury. Okay. To, to, for vengeance, for death and destruction. So he's coming back angry. He's coming back to handle business. It reads, and his rebuke with flames of fire, and his rebuke with flames of fire. So there's there's going to be massive, um, there's going to be a major um, uh, flames of fire, man. You know, to destroy this place called America and other parts of the um, earth, you know, to purify the land of Israel, you know, for the children of Israel, starting with the um, first fruits of the, the, the elect of the nation of Israel, Okay. But Lord Yahweh is coming with um, flames of fire to rebuke this place, man. To lay this land desolate, man. Okay? To purify this land, man. And bring about the kingdom for the Israelites. You know? Starting with uh, you know, salvation of the elected nation of Israel. So despite what these false prophets are telling you about kisses, hugs, candy bars, kissing babies, shaking hands doing tours you know or, or around the united states you know Lord habit is not um coming uh to 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 be peaceful man he's coming for death and destruction he's coming to handle business it says verse 16 for by fire and by his sword will the lord plead with all flesh so by fire and by his sword is he gonna plead with all flesh it didn't say for by for by uh hugs and kisses will he plead with all flesh it says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Meaning that he's going to kill many. Lord Yahweh is coming to handle business, man. It ain't going to be no talking. It says, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. The slain of the Lord shall be many. You know, meaning that it's going to be a lot of people die from his arrival, man. You know. When he comes on the scene, it's going to be death and destruction, you know? 
So I'm going to bring out another precept. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. It reads, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. So Lord Yahweh is coming cruel with wrath and fierce anger. You know? We can't even imagine how angry Lord Yahweh is, man. You know? He was pierced and, and killed, man, over 2,000 years ago. And, and he's coming back with, with hugs and kisses? That's blasphemy for these false prophets to say such things, man. He's coming back with flames of fury, man. He's coming back cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. All right, that's why the scriptures say um, by the... Um, the, the um, by, by let, me, let me get that just to... Um, Make sure I'm quoting it right. It says Isaiah 66 and 15. Um, lock it. It says, For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. You know, and that goes back to the wrath and fierce anger that the Lord has, man. You know, he has for these heathens, the so called white man, um, the die hated East Indians, the doodle eating Africans. The um, Japanese, so-called Japanese, these are all so-called byword names for these heathens, man. You know, so-called Japanese, so-called Chinese. <clears throat> you know, that's how you're gonna plead with two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, it says both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and that land is America, uninhabited. You know, it's gonna be. No living creatures here except for um the desert creatures feeding off of you know uh the remainings here, man. You know, but as far as living in America, it's not gonna happen, it's gonna be uninhabited. That's how bad the destruction is getting ready to be, man. Lord Yahweh is coming with fierce anger. The the slain of the Lord uh, of, of the Lord shall be many, man. You know, the slain of the Lord shall be many, which means that. The Lord is getting ready to lay this land desolate, man. It ain't gonna be no games. <clears throat> it reads, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Yeah, the Lord is gonna destroy the sinners thereof out of it. You two thirds, man, who wanna go against the, you know, the law, man, who rather um, you know, hearken to the so-called white man and his philosophies and doctrines, worshiping that image. You know, of, of, of this wicked ass queendom, eating abominable foods, shrimp, crab, lobster, catfish, liver, you know, um, sleeping with the next man's woman, committing adultery, all into the black culture, which black ultimately means death, void of light, okay, getting tattoos on your face and on your body, you know, you know, uh, um, doing all types of wickedness, man, and into homosexuality. Worshiping these pagan holidays, you know, those are the sinners, man. Those are the sinners. The Lord is getting ready to bring death and destruction to the sinners and you heathens, man. So the Lord's not coming, you know, with with uh, snicker bars and, you know, um, um, snicker bars and uh, juju beans. He's not giving out Gatorades and water, you know, um, water bottles. Lord Yahweh is coming with fierce anger, man. I'm gonna bring out one more precept. You know, Amos. Let me see. Amos 9 and 10. It reads All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And so that lets you know, you know, that, that kills that false doctrine of um the Lord hates to sin, not the sinners. Well, the scriptures say all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And who's my people? Which that word my is possessive. So letting you know the Lord is speaking to a specific people. And those people are the same ones who the Lord saved out of the land of Egypt, who saved many times out of captivity. Those same ones that he rebuked, you know? And it's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Lord's going to destroy you two-thirds, man. Okay? And salvation is only going to be given to the elect. The 144,000 men, the one-third men, women, and children. It says, 
Amos 9 and 10, and all the sinners, not some, not a few, all of the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, any killing instrument, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yeah, because they don't think they're going to be destroyed. They think they can continue to, you know, be into their wickedness, man. You know, because um, sentence um, isn't executed speedily, you know, um, the hearts of two-thirds continue to do all types of wickedness, man. But the Lord is coming, and, and, the, um, and, and he's coming to, uh, you know, plead with all flesh by uh, fire and by sword, man. You know? So it would behoove our people to get right, man, before it's too late. The Lord is coming to destroy this place, man. You know? And all the signs are here, all the prophecies are clear and are speaking, man. And letting you know the Lord is coming He's coming soon You know So with that being said Before I close out I want to give all praises, honor, and glory To the Heavenly Father And His only begotten Son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kodash Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone Teaching you the 100% truth according to the Bible And the double shalom to all the Akim out there Pushing the truth And truth in sincerity Regardless of whom here or forbears Shalom.